Hey, this boost your BIM video is going to show us how we can reassign uh, properties using levels uh, and to remap objects from one level to another uh, so that we can safely delete a level without losing geometry. All right, without any API help, if I select level one here and delete it, we can see it's going to give us this warning, 14 elements will be deleted. And if we proceed, we can see that we just lost all those walls and doors and windows. If I undo and come back, we can uh, see that that's happening because the uh, level assigned to that door is level one. Right? These windows are assigned to level one, and the walls that host them are also assigned to level one. And so therefore, when level one is deleted, those objects get deleted as well. So what we've done is created an API command that I'll now run to remap the levels prompts you to pick a level, then it automatically finds the nearest level below, which in this case is level zero, and remaps those objects without changing the geometry. So I pick this level, the remapping has uh, occurred now, so if I pick this wall we can see that it's now base constraint is level zero, and the base offset and unconnected height have been adjusted accordingly. Uh, the door we can also see now is uh, has a level of level zero and a sill height uh, that was needed so that the position didn't change and the same for the window. Now we can safely go ahead and delete level one. The views of course associated with it are deleted but we can see that all of our geometry remains. So now let's take a look at the code that does this. Uh, we start off by prompting the user to select a level. We then find the first level below by sorting the levels by their elevation and then finding the first level uh, with an elevation less than the elevation of the level selected by the user. Uh, this is a list of parameters that will need to be adjusted uh, based on the elevation difference between those two levels. I'm going to find the elements associated with that level by using an element level filter. And then here's the transaction where I go through all of those elements I go through each of their parameters. I'm only going to want parameters that are writable and that have a storage type of element ID. So we skip all the others. Uh, we'll also skip parameters that have a level ID or store an element ID, uh, but that element ID is not for the level uh, selected by the user. We then find the difference in elevation between this level selected by the user and the level below that will have the new mapping. And now we'll set the values both of the uh, elements parameter to set it to the new level below. And then we go through all those parameters listed up here. Again, in this case, the offsets and the sill height. And, and again, set those to the old value plus the difference in elevation between the old level and the new level. All right, so in this case, this ele this uh, window after we're done has a cell height of 14, but before we deleted the level, before we ran the command, it had a cell height of three. And because level zero is 11 feet below a level one, the new cell height will be 14.